Welcome back everyone to another episode of Candice Corner. Today we are going to make some homemade pepper sauce. Edna, I know you're not a pepper sauce lover, but I truly believe if you try this pepper sauce, you're going to enjoy it. So let's get starting putting this pepper sauce together. <laughs> After picking the peppers, we have green and half ripe peppers and ripe peppers. We're going to use the green peppers for one thing, but we're going to use these half ripe peppers to make the sauce. The green ones, we are going to just wash them and place them in a refrigerator. But before we continue, I want to tell you all about a sweet box sale that is coming up. And as we go along, we'll get more into that video. So now I am about to go and wash out the sweet peppers properly i had them soaking after they were freshly picked just to remove any extra dust that is in the air i had them soaking in some water and a little bit of vinegar and now i am going to wash them out thoroughly i am going to put on the shower head on the pipe and i am going to use that to wash out the peppers properly so after draining out the first set of water from soaking it I am going to take them up and wash them out thoroughly because there is a lot of I have a lot of dogs so you know I want to make sure there is no dog here on this I want to make sure there is nothing in the air no sand all the Sahara dust so I'm just making sure that our peppers is properly well cleaned before we start doing anything with our peppers before i and i am going to cook my pepper sauce i know not a lot of people cook their pepper sauce but um, a lot of caribbean people do cook their pepper sauce and i really find it really makes the pepper sauce not as spicy and also very delicious and i am also going to add some flavoring to the ending of the blended pepper sauce as we go along, you will see what I'm talking about. So after rinsing them out thoroughly, I am going to start the blending process. And the green ones, I am also going to do the same thing, but we're not going to use the green peppers. We're going to use just the ripe peppers. So I'm showing you the green peppers. I'm also going to do the same process as we just did with the ripe ones, making sure it is thoroughly cleaned. So taking them up, in small portions and running them under the pipe and then I'm going to place them in my refrigerator I'm going to use them whole in any type of soups and or cook up whatever I choose to use these peppers these peppers is going to be frozen so they're going to remain fresh all right that is how I store my peppers I wash them clean and then store them in the freezer and when I want one I just take up a whole one and just throw in a pot it's already clean I don't have to worry about that all right so after doing that making sure my sink is clean and this is what the washed peppers look like as i previously mentioned my niece and her friends are having a sweet box sale and i would really like it if you all could go and give them your support the tickets are just 30 dollars if you're interested please send me a message and i would give you further information as to how to contact them to place your order First, I soak them to remove a first layer of whatever sand or whatever that's in the air of the peppers and then I run them under the pipe to give them a double cleaning. And now I am going to get into the process of blending. So let's go through some of that ingredients. I'm going to use some white wine. You can use vinegar, but I just really love how this cooking wine tastes in my pepper sauce. I am going to use... Four tablespoons of that cooking wine and I'm going to use some of my homemade green seasoning that's just the seasoning that I have in my back here that you always see me picking before I go and prepare anything so I am adding the four tablespoons of white vinegar and then I'm going to add the same amount of seasoning for so I'm going to do that in batch and I did that in two batches. So altogether I use eight tablespoons of my vinegar and eight tablespoons of my green seasoning. And I'm not going to add any salt as yet, but more so to the ending, right? So this is the peppers 
that I'm going to use as you just saw me cleaning the pepper. So I'm going to add them in small portions. So now that my pepper has been added with the four tablespoon of cooking wine and the four tablespoon of, of green seasoning, you can use vinegar. I choose to use cooking wine because I really like how it tastes along with some other ingredients as we go along. So I'm not going to blend this till smooth firstly. I'm going to pulse it and break down the pepper and before we continue to smoothing out this pepper some people really like a nice chunky pepper but I don't I cannot eat a chunky pepper sauce it is too painful so I really like it smooth it is more comfortable for my palate I, I cannot so again I want to mention what I use four tablespoon of cooking wine and four tablespoon of green seasoning and we add a good portion of pepper and let me just show you what it looks like when it's chunky. This is the chunky version. Now you could have it this way. Some people really like it this way. But this is not what I am going to do. We are going to continue to smoothen all this. And then we would continue adding the rest of the pepper. We're going to remove what we have in a blender. And we're going to add four more ta tablespoons of the cooking wine. And four more tablespoons of the green seasoning. We're not going to add anything else I choose to add a little bit of salt so I'm going to pulse this till smooth and then remove it and as I said clean out the clean out the blender add more of the the wine and the seasoning and start again so this is what it looks like when all of the pepper is completely blended so all together I use eight tablespoon of the cooking wine eight tablespoon of the seasoning and we're going to blend i'm going to add back in the first set of the blended pepper so i'm going to use a handful of bandana i pick in my garden and also some pimento and the magic here is my honey mustard so i'm going to add some of the pepper sauce that's in the blender in the container and leave about three to four tablespoons of that pepper in the blender and i'm going to add the pimento I only use about four to five and a handful of bandana and I actually use eight tablespoon of the honey mustard. I'm going to blend everything here till smooth and add to the rest of the pepper sauce that we placed into the container and we're going to mix everything around once we add what we just blended there. So we're adding more flavors on top of what we already add with the green seeds and all of that. So I'm adding some more salt just because I wanted to add some more salt. It all depends on what you like. So I'm going to add this to a preheating pan on the stove and I'm very low and I'm going to let this come to a boil and I'm going to add also some bay leaf and half stick of cinnamon and i'm going to let that come to a boil but before we get back to that i want to show you what i'm doing with my green peppers once they are washed and dried out i'm placing in a sealed container and freezing it if i need it to put in a soup in a fish broth anything i have it there so let's get back to the pepper sauce you can see this size to come to a boil what we want to do is cook down this pepper sauce remove any extra moisture and we're killing out any bad bacteria there and this pepper sauce is going to last a really long time in or out of the refrigerator and to me it adds more flavor to the pepper sauce so this is how easy i made a caribbean pepper sauce with the nice ingredients with some bandana and some honey mustard let's run through we picked the pepper we placed the pepper in some water with a cork full in each container Put the pepper to soak with some water for about an hour then place it on the running water washing them thoroughly then replacing in our blender four tablespoon of cooking wine and four tablespoon of green seasoning and we're going to put a good portion in each blend blend it smooth and then remove it when we remove it we add the same amount of the cooking wine and the same amount of green seasoning and blend again till smooth. And what did we add to flavor this pepper sauce? We use bandana, we use honey mustard, we use pimento, 
and salt right we also use the green seasoning which have all of those ingredients and what I'm going to enjoy this pepper sauce with is some coconut bake I didn't use coconut milk I only use shredded coconut no butter at all and I just sprinkle some nutmeg to the surface of it place it in the oven for 20 minutes and I have some very soft and delicious coconut bake and some fried fish and I'm going to also have my pepper sauce and I made a little sauce with some ketchup uh, mayonnaise and some cream cheese just to dip also along my pepper sauce and I need the flour for the coconut bake for five minutes so I will leave a link for how I need my flour in the cards so thanks for watching this quick and easy pepper sauce demonstration and I do hope you check the cards for how I need my flour and to have an awesome and blessed and very productive, productive day. Again, I do hope my explanation in this demonstration was simple and you could try this for yourself. Hope you enjoy.